instant match reaction. <laughs> Everton won, Burnley nil at Goodison Park. You know what? We've had some bad performances this season. We've had some bad results. We've lost to some teams that you'd expect us to turn up and beat Fulham. You know, um, I'm absolutely fuming, to be honest. Uh, Newcastle, um, twice. Leeds at home, drop points against Burnley away. But even throughout all of those games, even throughout all of those disappointments and getting our hopes up and then just come and crash back down to earth again, I've never, ever, ever been as frustrated as I am now. Certainly not this season. I don't think I've been frustra as th this frustrated since probably, uh, you know, the, the um, derby defeat in the club last season. That was a disgrace, an absolute disgrace from pretty much every single Everton player. There was some a lot worse than others, but other than Ben Godfrey, I don't think anybody really seemed arsed tonight. I don't think anybody really wanted it. I don't think they wanted to win the game. I don't think they wanted to get back in the game we were playing. The last 50 15 minutes as if we were the team winning 2-1 at home it's it's ridiculous and to be perfectly honest with you you can kiss your Champions League goodbye you can absolutely kiss it goodbye because in fact kiss Europe goodbye because we don't deserve to play in a European competition playing like that our home form is relegation for that never mind European fighting for Europe we've been saved this season by an, a, you know a run of um away results that is is unheard of but our home form is absolutely relegation but uh, for that it's disgraceful absolutely disgraceful another dreadful dreadful performance tonight how many times are we going to allow teams and let's get it out the way before we go into it fair play to Burnley they turned up they played some great football Dwight McNeil's goal is absolutely excellent and they, they turned up and they weren't afraid of Everton but how many times are we going to allow teams any team bloody hell it could be so, Dave's under 20 freaking twos or Dave's under eight from down the road any side can turn up to Goodison Park at the moment and we make them look like prime Brazil we're Burnley very good today yes they were but Everton were absolutely embarrassing once again. Once again, barring Ben Goffey, like I said, not one Everton player should walk off that pitch with their head held high. And I don't want to hear none of this nonsense about, oh, it wasn't good enough today, but we still believe this, that and the other. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. You don't believe. If you believe, you're the pudding and half decent performance on that pitch at Goodison Park today. That performance was, we can't be arsed being here. We don't really care. And if that's the case... See you later in the summer. Every single one of you, see you later in the summer. Because I want players who, when they come out before the game and say, we're still very much in a fight for Europe, you show that fight, you show that agency, you show that energy. None of it today. Absolutely none of it. It was clear. I never want to hear anybody, anybody, anybody say that we can cope without Abdelai Decore ever again. Even when he can't pass a ball, even when his older play is shocking. That lad is imperative to this team. And without him, we are dreadful absolutely dreadful that midfield today was shocking absolutely shocking Tom Davis individually Davis did he have the worst game no he got a fantastic assist Alan again I think he was dreadful awful but he's just coming back from an injury Gomez all right on the ball but as a three you may as well have played me my dad and my girlfriend because the, the three of them today were a nonsense the amount of times they were bypassed the amount of times Burnley just completely walk through us as if we weren't even there to get opportunities on the edge of the box was absolutely atrocious the defense wasn't much better mason allgate can't play at right back he cannot play at right back now i like mason i think he's a good young center half with a big future ahead of him but not at right back absolutely not at right back it's seamus coleman from now until the end of the season and then in the summer it's a new sign and be it max Aaron's be it aaron max i don't give a shit it's a new sign in the summer because mason allgate cannot play at right back Deliveries into the box today, other than Tom Davis's for the goal, were a nonsense. Um, <clears throat> again, the goals we can see that the first one is a mistake by Tom. He made up for it in the with with the obviously Calvert Lewin's goal. The second one, for as much as it's an absolutely unbelievable strike by the White McNeil, uh, how much time and space do we want to give? We may as well have said, yeah, have a shot there, have an effort there. It was atrocious. Like I said, for me, only Ben, ben Godfrey's put in maybe an eight. 7 out of 10 performance today. Every other one below 5. Absolutely below 5. The midfield were atrocious. Richarlison, uh, did he touch the ball in the second half? I don't think he did. None of the substitutions made an impact whatsoever. I mean, there was a point in the game where... And I, and I, I don't want to start picking up players and individually you know, ripping into players. But there was a point in the game where Seamus Coleman picked the ball up when he'd come on. And he's in our area with 2-1 down with 10 minutes to go. And he turns round. 
Why are you turning around with 2-1 down at home with 10 minutes to go? Behind you shouldn't even be in, in your mind. You should just be belting it forward. And he did belt it forward, to be fair. But it's that little turn around. What, what's the point? Why are you turning around there? Awobi today, again, very much of nothing, really. Was he awful? No. But did he do anything? No. He passed the ball into Davis for the, for the, um, for the goal. But other than that, it was very much of, again on the ball but not creating anything not effective and I've had this argument for the, for the last however many weeks now we've ever had far too many players who aren't effective we have far too many players who are alright on the ball but when push comes to shove when it comes to creating chances when it comes to scoring goals the non-existent Andre Gomez is he a decent footballer yes what does he bring to this Everton team please what is his effectiveness on the pitch nothing Alex Awobi today every time he got the ball in a good area his cross was knee height and it was miles off anybody. You know, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, I'm frustrated with, to be honest with you, because for as much as he scored the header, and it was a great header, he had three or four chances there. He could have had five goals today. And I'm not just saying that we could have had five goals because he had a few half chances. I'm talking about blatant opportunities that were influenced from the second header, where Dean puts his only decent ball of the game in. Is it socials? It just, it just hits his head and, it, and goes out. I mean, again, his touch was... Poor today. Alan couldn't pass a parcel, to be honest. Awobi couldn't cross his arms. Um, and, yeah, like I said, obviously Pickford going off was, was massively disappointing. I uh, don't think he was a fault for either goal, to be honest. He went off injured. Joe Virginia, to be fair, stepped in him. Other than having a, a, a little bit of a kerfuffle with Ben Goffrey um, at one point, didn't do anything wrong. Didn't have an awful lot to do, but didn't do anything wrong. But, again, we, we're just... We can't think two passes together in the centre of the midfield. We're very predictable. We don't. That was the easiest game Burnley will play all all season. And I've, I've, if you can go and watch the Fulham instant match reaction, and I said that exact same sentence. I said that's the easiest game Fulham will play all season. I said that after Newcastle, that's the easiest game Newcastle will play all season. That's the easiest game West Ham will play all season. How many times do we have to keep saying this at Goodison Park? I don't want to play at Goodison Park again this season. I don't want to play there because we're absolutely a troll. Every single time we play there, we're abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. That was embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. Not in short of it. Forget Europa League. Forget Champions League. We don't deserve it. We do not deserve it. Based off that performance, it was absolutely atrocious. And I cannot wait for the summer. I cannot wait for the summer. Because I tell you what, we are in dire need of three, four, five players before we even become a consistent challenger for Europe. We might finish in a European position this season because we might have another decent couple of games and we might go on a little bit of a run and the teams around us might start dropping points. But we won't be finishing in it comfortably. We won't be finishing in a, uh, you know, in, in, a, in a way where we're thinking, yeah, that was, uh, that was comfortable. And we certainly won't be a consistent challenger for Europe with this squad because it's not good enough. It's just not good enough whatsoever. And the big question was, who replaces Abdelai like, Decore's energy in that midfield? That midfield didn't work. I don't want to see Alan Davis and, and Gomez together again. I don't. Alan was poor today, but okay. Benefit of the doubt coming back from a, a big injury. Tom Davis was all right. Got the assist for the goal. Obviously, give the 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 first goal um, away. All right, Gomez on the ball. Yeah, he's he, he makes some nice passes. He moves us forward sometimes, but his effectiveness is nonsense. Doesn't do anything. Alex Awobi, yeah, he moves about the ball nice. He dribbles it well, but what's at the end of it? Most of the time, fuck all. Richardson not in the game. Holgate. Dean, awful, absolutely awful. Keane didn't have as great as the games. Godfrey, like I said, for me, the only Everton player who can walk off with his head held remotely high. But a lot of them today were just utterly embarrassing. Can't bring two passes together. So predictable. Too easy to play against. I reckon I could phone up now five of the lads, my mates, who, and we don't play football whatsoever. And I reckon I could phone five of the lads up and go and challenge Everton, Everton's midfield in a five-a-side game and would run rings around them. Would absolutely run rings around them. And, and I'm being deadly honest there because it's just so easy to play against Everton. So easy. Burnley were very, very good today, but we made them look very, very good because we were atrocious. Um, and we won't finish in a European competition. And we don't deserve to finish in a European competition playing like that. We seriously, seriously don't. I mean... Every time we play at home now, be it against bloody Dave Sunday League side or Manchester United, I, I'm not confident. Um, if there's one thing that's been abundantly clear recently and is abundantly clear today is that 
this club, this team, these players need us as fans at Goodison Park. Absolutely need us as fans, as fans at Goodison Park because there was a little conversation at the start of the season. Oh, 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 are we better at Goodison without fans? Nonsense. Absolutely not. Absolutely. These players couldn't motivate themselves to make a cup of tea, never mind win a game of football at home. And it's worrying. It really, really is worrying because that again today was just absolutely, oh, it was abysmal. It was absolutely abysmal. And, and to be honest, like, I am very frustrated, I am, because I've seen it far too many times, and I allow myself, I sit here on previews and pre-match videos and say, oh, it'll be different today, we'll turn up today, we'll put a decent performance in, and you know what, for 15 minutes at the start of the game, we were in control of the ball, it was nice, we were patient, we were pegging them back, one mistake, finished the game, that game was done at 1-0, by the way, absolutely done and dusted at 1-0, I said it to me dad, he said, don't be stupid, it's 15 minutes in, I said, this is done, these players haven't got the motivation at Goodison Park to get back into a game, we go 2 0 down, <clears throat> we pull one back. Have you ever known a team to pull a goal back when they're 2 0 down to make it 2 1 and still look shit after it and still look like they can't care to get back into the game? It was abysmal. Look, I'm going to go before I end up, I don't know, maybe head exploding because I'm absolutely furious after that. Um, if you've enjoyed it, if you want to leave a like, you can do. If you want to subscribe, you can do. If you want to give a comment, then that'll be much uh, much appreciated. I'm going to do the player ratings now. Spoiler alert, other than Godfrey, no one's getting over a six, to be honest with you. Um, and yeah, well, probably Pickford as well, because he didn't really do much wrong, did he? Um, yeah, like I said, I'm done. I'm done with getting my hopes up. I'm done with football. I just can't wait till the summer now. I don't care if we finish in the Europa League or the Champions League at the moment. I don't care. I just want to go into the summer and sign some players because this current squad isn't good enough. It seriously, seriously isn't. So, there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, yeah. Whatever. When Who do we next play it on? Because that's a guaranteed loss as well. So, may as well not even turn up. See you soon.